Welcome Mountain Meadow Wolf friends. Kind of exciting news today. I am here in a warehouse in Georgia. And uh, just to give you a little idea of why I'm down here. About three weeks ago, we were looking for some new spinning frames and we got in contact with a company and they are closing this facility down here in Georgia. This is an old Coates and Clark facility making Red Heart yarn. So if you're familiar with Red Heart yarn in Walmart, this is one of the facilities that made that. This facility, is massive in scale compared to little mountain metal wool. I'll just walk through here and give you a little idea of the scale of some of these machines. You can see one behind me here, a big spinning frame. Um, this facility had 18 spinning frames and we are going to be disassembling four of them to bring back to mountain metal wool. So you can see back here, um, quite the operation, big, big facility, lots of machinery. Um, really cool history and uh, awesome to be getting able to recover some of this one of the challenges is with time frame so the building was sold and now a warehouse is coming in and they need to get all the machinery out within three weeks um, a scrap company is coming to take out all of the machinery that we don't get so we have like a week or so to get whatever we can uh, removed from this facility before it goes to scrap metal. So it actually makes you sick to your stomach to see all this machinery. Um, you could build six, eight mountain metal wool size facilities out of what the machinery that's here, and it's all going to go to scrap metal and be torn down. So very sad um, seeing this wealth of machinery being torn down. Uh, a good example of our throwaway culture that we have in the U.S. When it's obsolete, we trash it, throw it away, and build something new. And you can see how many jobs could be employed with this amount of machinery. Very sad seeing it all be torn apart. But now begins the fun task, is how do we tear apart these machines, uh, put them on pallets, get them shipped. Logistically, it's going to be a nightmare. Um, we ordered our plane tickets yesterday, got down here yesterday night, last night, and are starting the process. So it's a really fast and furious uh, planning as we go, so it's going to be quite the experience. We'll kind of show a, a daily update as we get through this. Um, but this big machine right behind me here will be one of the first ones we we tackle into, uh, disassembling it, taking it apart. We're getting some of the spinning frames. We're also getting a new carter uh, and a pin drafter and some winding machines. So it's pretty fun for us. Very daunting. Not really sure what we're doing, but it's like an elephant. You take one bite at a time. You know, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. So we will do our best. We'll keep you updated on the progress. Thanks for tuning in.